So welcome back to another video on my T4. This is the 2.5 TDI and again we're going to be carrying on with the uh, diagnosing why it's running on four cylinders instead of five. So yeah we do have a bit of a misfire at the moment. So previously um, on the last episode where I left off I said I was going to do a compression test. However I don't think we're going to do the compression test straight away. Um, I do have access to a compression tester if need be but I think um, we know what it's going to say if we do a compression test we're going to say that cylinder 2 is faulty because you know we swapped over the injectors we've checked the fuel pump um, we know it's not the fuel pump we check that little valve we know because it's a rotary pump and the timing that you know it's just not possible for it to be the pump so I'm guessing um, there's no real need to do the compression test and besides that from the last video I've had uh, a few private messages people saying oh, that they reckon it's the exhaust valve so I mean if it is the exhaust valve the head's gonna have to come off anyway to to access it and you know if it needs re new valves or just reseating um, yeah we'll, we'll assess that when we get to it so before I take that step I think I'm just going to remove the rocker cover uh, remove the intercooler, remove the uh, rocker cover um, and see if there's any any obvious signs on the camshaft, maybe the lobes are worn down um, I can go through and rotate the engine slowly um, on the crankshaft and as the camshaft rotates we can have a look at all the lobes uh, I think that I'll do that at some point as well um, before I take the head off, these are all things that I can I can check So. Without further ado, let's start stripping it all down. Once I removed the intercooler, I was able to get access a bit easier to this oil breather pipe. So removing the oil breather pipe, and now I'm going to remove the oil filler pipe, the filler cap, removing all of that, 410 mils. Also the intercooler, all of that's held on, the bracket, everything's all held on by 10 mils. It's all nice and easy. And then once you've got all of this off, and this, uh, this filler stick tube, whatever you want to call it, just pulls off couple of o-rings there make sure you got both of them uh, I expect I'll be replacing all of them in the near future as well I expect they will come with the with the gasket kit that I have now ordered and then it's just a case of removing these vacuum lines um, well actually I got a little bit impatient um, I should have removed the the, uh, the vacuum lines first but I didn't I just wanted to get that plastic rock rocker cover off um, well the plastic covering over the rocker cover so I got a little bit carried away and jumped the gun I should have in hindsight you know released those vacuum pipes but not a problem it came out easy enough and then what I do is now I'm just going to remove these breather pipes sort out that uh, water return pipe that goes back up to the uh, to the radiator water bottle uh, I'll take all of that move it all out of the way get the wiring loom moved out of the way just to make it a bit easier to get the rocker cover off.
marking up all the bolts and the washers. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make sure I put all the bolts and washers back into the right, well, just back into the same ones that they came out of. Obviously, if the head's coming off, we'll be putting new head bolts on. So, yeah, uh, I just thought I'd uh, I'll let you know the crack of what I was doing there. As you can see, the rocker cover came off nice and easy. There was no need for me to use a copper and hide mallet to, to slightly loosen it. No, it just came straight off. Uh, but there was, in these little bits around here, there was sealant in there. Um, some of it's come away and some of it's sort of like stuck in there. So I'm going to have to clean that out at a later date. Not a problem though. I mean, all that face is going to have to be cleaned off anyway before I put the new uh, rocker cover back on. Well, not the new rocker cover, but the old rocker cover, but a new gasket. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just have a look at the, the lobes on the camshaft. There is wear and tear on that camshaft it doesn't look great does it you know um, but I don't I don't know I'm gonna have to go through and what I'll do is I'll compare the lobes on cylinder 2 to the lobes on cylinder 1 and cylinder 3 by slowly rotating the crankshaft um, and then I'll be able to have a, a closer inspection on them all but they, they all have they all look the same they're all they all got the same kind of shine on the end uh, which you'd think if one of them was faulty um, it'd be worn down a lot more and there'd be signs of that wear and tear uh, but you know first sides I can't really see anything what I'm gonna have to do is, is I'm gonna have to rotate the engine and check it from there I think uh, because the time's getting on now and I don't really get a, a many hours during the day to do it all I'm just gonna cover it all up now um, keep it all nice and clean and then tomorrow I'll come back out here, well tomorrow's, I've got a few hours tomorrow I can get out here and uh, I'll start trying to rotate it and uh, checking all the lobes on the camshaft individually, making sure everything's alright and then we can also have a look at the valves and see how they're seated, uh, yeah we can check all of that out next time, but that'll be in another video, so uh, thank you for watching, um, make sure you subscribe and like to uh, keep up to date with what's going on because the next video I will be setting I'll be checking all the lobes and if the head has to come off um, we will be setting up for TDC for it to all be removed although you don't really have to set it up for TDC to remove it all but we're going to do it anyway um, yeah so join us next time and we will carry this on thanks for watching take care god bless